morro. Hey, stand back. Greetings. Be welcome, sir. May I see your wares? Here is what's in stock. Is that all for now? I must be on my way. So long. The symposium should be here. Baghdad's brightest, sharing their wisdom. Pardon me. I am looking for the great scholar's lecture. Basil Fahim's lecture about the antediluvian antecedents of humanity will begin soon. In the meantime, please enjoy our ample stock of exquisite delicacies and tasty refreshments. Where is Arib al Ma'munia, the poet? Where is Arib al Ma'munia, the poet? Where is Arim? I hope to catch a whiff of her magnificent aura. So rare to see her outside of the round city. The beloved is in the garden, ruminating upon the perfection of nature. Oh, to be a flower held in her discerning hands, inspiring such languid verse. She must be relieved to be free of her wealthy patrons for a change. Oh, perhaps she leads an exciting secret double life. Sleeping out of the palaces to find inspiration in common life. <laughs> I doubt it. The translator. What is he still doing here? Hunain. 
You should not be back so soon. I know. I'm still nervous, but I couldn't stay away from my books. I guess we must always do our duty. Wadaan. That astronomer might be one of them, though I doubt it. Sayyidi, I am honored to make your acquaintance. Good to see more young people enjoying the House of Wisdom. Do you think the great scholar will give a good lecture? Do not waste time listening to his nonsense. I have written many more edifying and practical books instead. On which topics? I have written extensively about sundials, astrolabs, stars and planets, and the circumference of the Earth. Fascinating, Sayyidi. I shall read more of your work soon. Wadaan. Hey, my fingers! I told you I'd see you around. Indeed. And what brings you back? I want to show you something. This house of wisdom boards collect the wildest trinkets and gadgets. I have been here before, Nihal. This is Ahmad ibn Musa's office. Have you been sneaking in there? Ahmed and his brothers are capable of designing some fantastic devices. Not all of his ideas are that practical, I'm afraid. Don't be so smug. The world is full of wonders. It gives me a tingle down my spine. Like I'm nearing a cosmic secret. You read too much about magicians and lost cities buried beneath the dunes. You don't read enough. Perhaps there are other worlds, other people, out among the stars. Nonsense. Does this remind you of your nightmares? No. More like something from the Bimaristan. Or a training chart of the Hidden Ones. Ah, yes. The swift ways to kill silently. Death in seconds. This. I have seen this one before. Is this what you wanted to show me? Yes. It reminded me of that object we found at the palace. What is it? A drawing from an ancient book. There is something you are not telling me. You do not want to know what happens behind closed doors. Why? Because you do not know either? Because, as Dirwish says, sometimes it is better not to know the truth behind the things we must do. The truth, Basim, is that everything is here in front of you. But you refuse to look at it. This is about you. It has always been about you, ever since that night. I took an oath, Nihal. To leave my old life behind and walk this path of shadows. And maybe someday you will find the light. But until then, 
I will walk behind you every step of the way to remind you not to forget who you are. Is that a threat? I do not know. Impressive door. Where does it go? Those who came before are... What? I said, those who came before are... Never mind. There is that poet, the Bidlove, whose work keeps turning up in unexpected places. Yes? Symmetry of sky and sea, but only in thine eye do these two planes meet. You have read my work. And who might you be? A lover of poetry, nothing more. And of order. Or should I say, chaos. I know only one living poet who loves chaos that much. Ali ibn Muhammad. Are you a fan of his pedestrian work? The rivalry between you two is legendary. It enhances the craft. I cannot choose. You are most diplomatic. But I would rather seek inspiration among these lovely blooms. Good day. Sounds like the lecture is about to begin. I should return to the Kahreman. Pardon me. Is Fazil Fahim's lecture ready to begin? Indeed, it is. Head inside, if you please. Welcome, one and all, to the House of Wisdom. Center of learning in Baghdad, indeed, of the entire world. I am Fazil Fahim al Kimsa, first scholar of the House of Wisdom, wisest of the wise. Today, I will shock you with what may sound like outrageous blasphemies. <laughs> Do not fear, good people. Though I am old, my mind remains sharp as steel. Today, I speak of mysteries, of creatures from the antediluvian age. Do not the ancient prophets tell us about giants from before the flood who forsook Allah and worshipped false idols? Is it not possible these giants built marvels, works of wondrous power, now lost to us? Zahra and Hassan are both dead. Slain by an assassin's blade. They are dead. Sayidi, I urge you to hide until it's safe. Uh, uh, apologies, people, but our lecture has concluded. Please, feel free to explore the House of Wisdom's many fine chambers. You call yourself the great scholar, Fazil. You who burn books and hope the smoke will hide your crimes. How many did you sacrifice in your search for knowledge? How many did you use, damage and discard in the name of discovery? Now you hide within the House of Wisdom. 
the house you led astray. But I will find you. And I will exact justice for every soul you savaged for your great work. It is true. Fazil leads the Order in Abbasia. I need to hunt him down. How exciting! What do you think frightened the great scholar? The old fool must have imagined one of his antediluvian creatures. He's an absolute disgrace. But where did he run off to? There's rumors of hidden passages beneath the House of Wisdom. Maybe he hid down there. I have heard the rooftop gardener mention these places, yes. What a colorful detail to include in my verse. The scholar, by secret tunnels fled, chased by delusions of deities who want him dead. What do you see? Pardon me, but I heard a rumor about a hidden basement beneath the House of Wisdom. A secret basement? You must be joking. No, not at all. Surely, such a large building must have basements and cellars to store books and inks. I am aware of no such location on these premises. Never mind. I will look around on my own. As you wish. Gatekeeper, let me pass. Those who came before are... What are you talking about? Those who came before are... Let me get back to you. I've lost Fossil's greatest work. I've lost Fossil's greatest work. What do you mean you lost the great scholar's masterwork? I'm sorry. I was distracted by the presence of the famous poet Arib. Forget the poet! We better find Fossil's book or we're both dead. Sounds like part of a passphrase.
Gone. This time. We're so sharp, nothing gets the jump on us. That book looks out of place wedged behind a desk like that. A history of the great scholar and his magnificent reforms of the House of Wisdom by Fazil Fahim. Not sure if this is the correct volume. Looks like somebody left a book in the stairwell.
better not use my weapons here. The folly of poetry by Fazil Fahim. Does not sound too romantic, to be honest. This letter mentions a private reading balcony. Might be where the reader has taken the book.
What? volume written by Fazil Fahim could be his masterwork its title is those who came before are those who shall return this has to be it Better not use my weapons here. Gatekeeper, those who came before are... ...are those who shall return. Correct! You may proceed! Clear. I can use my weapons again if needed. <gasps> uh. 
Hold on. Plenty of volunteers. <laughs> you can pull my teeth out with hot irons before you get me in there. There is a deep wrongness here, a reek of rot and iron. Those robes might help me get closer to Fazil. to these people.
poor guy will not need this anymore. This should help me blend in. You are new, aren't you? I don't recognize you. They promised you gold when you volunteered, yes? No matter. What you are about to behold surpasses all worldly riches. Don't be afraid. Are you afraid? This is my great work. I call it Arua. It will take you on a journey to another realm. Why did the first ones leave this world behind, filled with fools, I wonder, and make so few of me? We call this the House of Wisdom, but its foundations are unsound. For beneath the House of Wisdom lies the Dungeon of Ignorance, and upon such dark secrets we build our philosophies. Science is the noblest purpose. Knowledge is the greatest power. No. No? Then what? It may be here where lies absolute knowledge. It, it is not how I remember it. Behind the doors, it looked brighter. But in the end, all we see is darkness.
Question about it. Fazil was neck deep in the order. The scholar's notes. He believes in these ancient beings, the masters of memory. Basim ibn Ishaq. How did you find this place? Easy. I just followed the trails of blood. You should not be here. Do you talk to him? Sometimes. Yes. But he does not answer. I do. We have drifted apart since... since that day. But what we have seen back at the palace... This light... These sounds... We cannot have possibly forgotten. Unlike you, Nihal, I keep the past in the past. You call yesterday the past? And this jinni of yours? This repulsive shadow that crushes your chest? Has it crawled back into the past too? No. It is still here. Sometimes, 
even in the day. I feel its breath on my neck. The nightmare invades the real world, or has always been part of it. This is part of your reality, Basim. I am a part of your reality too. I am your past. Tell me, will you leave me there? In the dark corners of your memory? I will not. Now, if you could invent a mechanical rock sweeper, boss him. It is done. And how did it all play out? I am afraid this is a tale for another day. We will save it for one of our campfires. You have done well, my friend. Better get back to my work. You know how easily I get bored. Thank you for what mm. you did, Basim. It is the truth. You have done well. One last thing. Arib. Was she... involved? Not that I know. But we must remain vigilant.
Tebet, I would like to ask you something. Please, go ahead. What can you tell me about Ahmad ibn Musa? The son of a famous astronomer. Ahmed and his brothers excel at mathematics, invention, and scholarship. Together, they wrote the book of ingenious devices, describing their wonderful clockwork automata. What made him join our cause? The Banu Musa were once close to Al Mutawakhil, but grew disgusted with the Abbasid Khilafah. What happened? They refused to discuss it, so I cannot say. There are many reasons to be disgusted with the Abbasids. Was there anything else? What is important in Abbasiyah? This district is the heart of learning in Baghdad. All the world's knowledge can be found here. Any key places to investigate? Follow the trail, wherever it leads. Besides the House of Wisdom, there are other vital landmarks. Be sure to visit the Four Markets, the Observatory, and the Dome of the Ass. I remember the Observatory well. I met the great astronomer Al Khawarizmi there when I was young. Excellent. Finally, if you need to soothe some muscles, a steam bath at the splendid Hammam of Abbasia is a joy. After a night of clamoring across rooftops, that sounds good. Was there anything else? Tell me more about yourself, Tabit. Me? <laughs> uh, not much to say. I love poetry. Is that enough? Come now. Do not be so modest. <laughs> As you wish. I come from Nubia, a dry land south of Egypt. My father sent me to Cairo to study Islam. There I learned a fiery sense of right from wrong. And the corruption in Cairo was very, very wrong. <sighs> We revolted. Our revolt failed and I fled to Baghdad. The Hidden Ones took me in and... Here I am. Someday you should tell the whole tale. Was there anything else? Thank you, Tabid. That is all for now. Good to see you. Welcome, welcome. Have you devised any new tools? Here's what I have. Nothing else? I would like to borrow your wisdom a moment. Be my guest. Seen enough? Thank you for sharing your gifts. Goodbye.